Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the One Mix 4, which is a little laptop with a 10-inch display, an Intel Tiger Lake processor, and it ships with Windows 10 software, but I wanted to take a quick look at the out-of-the-box experience if you try alternate operating systems like Ubuntu. So I've got it running from a USB flash drive, and I've already gone ahead and booted up here, and this is basically what you'll see the first time that you load the operating system, which is, it seems to be running fine, but it's sideways. And there's a relatively uh, simple fix for that, but it's sort of a temporary fix, which is you open up a terminal window, you type xrander, x-r-a-n-d-r hyphen o, and then normal, and that'll rotate the screen correctly. Uh, it's not a perfect fix, and I'll show you why in a couple of minutes, but first I just wanted to show you that uh, most of the basic functionality does seem to be working. Audio is recognized, uh, screen brightness can be adjusted, I'm able to connect to my Wi-Fi network. I'm going to go ahead and brighten that screen just so you see a little bit less of my reflection. Um, and the keyboard shortcuts seem to work. I can enable or disable the backlight. I can adjust volume, brightness, and so forth. So uh, for the most part, it seems to work just fine as a laptop. And uh, you can go ahead and you know run your Linux commands, use the keyboard, fire up a web browser, do a little web surfing. And even the touch screen, as you can see, is supported here. We've got an on-screen keyboard that you could use, or you can use the physical keyboard. Your small business with big goals. And, and we've got support for audio playback and video playback. Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Computing, and this is the So, uh, like I said, most basic functionality seems to work just fine. Uh, I haven't tested pen input. I haven't tested um, battery life because, again, I'm just running it from a flash drive here. But out of the box, basically, it seems to work fine in laptop mode. Things get a little bit trickier if you wanted to use it as a tablet, and I'll show you why that is. We've got a 360-degree display here, but if I try to rotate it into portrait orientation, it stays here in, uh, in landscape. If I try to switch it to landscape mode, it's actually going to change to portrait. And for some reason, it thinks that the T button is being pressed down, which didn't happen the last time I tried this. Um, it's kind of usable, but it's a little bit trickier to use when the automatic screen rotation does rotate the screen, but it rotates it in the wrong direction. So overall, I would say that it's probably going to be more usable if you're just sticking with a laptop experience. Now, again, this is the out-of-the-box experience, um, and I can just go back to the terminal and xrender normal. Uh, so this is the out-of-the-box experience. If you uh, spend some more time tinkering, know a little bit more about Linux than I do, you might have a better experience. Other operating systems might work better, but uh, overall that's what happens when you try to run Ubuntu 21.04 uh, uh, 20 on the, um, this little device, actually, Ubuntu 20.04.2 LTS is what I'm running right now. Uh, that's what I thought I had downloaded. I just forgot. So uh, check out lilliputing.com for more details about the One Mix 4. You can find more uh, links in the description of this video as well. And um, yeah, this is the One Mix 4 with a 10.1 inch 2560 by 1600 pixel display, a Intel Core i5 1130G7 processor, this particular model has 16 gigs of RAM and uh, 512 gigs of solid state storage. And it's a pretty interesting little device that can be used in a lot of different ways, including running Linux on it.